Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Going out there to see what kind of fun physical media came out today. I know a lot of, uh, uh, is it called, um, catalog titles are, are being released today, like Mommy Dearest, Rat Race, Eye for an Eye with Sally Field, and things like that. And there's a handful of other things coming out, like The Vault and uh, Shoplifters of the World, which I highly recommend, and I'll be talking about some DVDs and Blu-rays at the end of this video in the review portion, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but before I head on out, guys, uh, out there to go uh, hoarding up today, uh, I want to talk about a, a really, a really uh, good cause uh, that a friend of mine, Natalia Ross, uh, Natalia Ross is um, uh, doing right now. Uh, her um, and my buddy Aaron Schwartz and Sean Wise, who you guys know from the from the Mighty Ducks and stuff, uh, they're all trying to they're all trying to raise some money uh, for the homeless in Van Nuys, California. They they're making these um, uh, they're called uh, Hope of the Valley uh, thrift store. You know, Hope of the Valley. Are, uh, they have a mission, and they're trying to um, build these tiny homes uh, in like you know different areas. There's some in Van Nuys. I think there's some in North Hollywood as well. And uh, Natanya Ross and and these guys are you know they're trying to raise money through GoFundMe to help build uh, these tiny homes for homeless people that are going through you know rough times, especially during this uh, during this pandemic. And any any con you know any um, uh, contribute anybody that contributes will be a, just a, a big help. You know what I mean? Like so these videos usually get in and around 4,000 views so if we can rate if, if everyone that watches this video donates a dollar to that GoFundMe it, it can help it could help a couple of homeless people maybe get back on their feet again you know so I have that link in the top of the description box if you'd like to help uh, the Hope of the Valley mission and the Tanya Ross and uh, Sean Wise and my friend Aaron Schwartz you know raise money for the for the Hope of the Valley mission to try to you know help some help homeless people out there right now I have a link for that go find me down below if you guys would like to contribute it'll be a, a real big help and uh yeah guys check out the link but right now let's head on out and uh see what we can come across today well guys at my first stop of the day the hope of the valley thrift store let's see if we can find anything cool up in there today well guys just got in here right now taking a look to see if they added anything new since the last time because they're still like overfilled uh with stuff since the last you know since the last time i've been here this is pointing this is uh sticking out to me right here thrashing from the 80s i may have to give this one a scan to see you know what it's going for on the bay i already own this one in my collection already but you always got to keep your eye out sometimes for uh mgm titles like old school looking ones like this sometimes they're uh worth worth something well guys it looks like this one's going for anywhere between 25 to about 17 dollars on ebay so it sold this things so if this not scratched up I'm, I may get it for two dollars. I may get it. And of course it's all scratched up. You can never really find that much good stuff at these kind of thrift stores out here. Oh well, I'm passing on that one. But let's see what else they got in here. Ghost Stories. They have like three different volumes of the Ghost Stories DVD. Looks like they have, um, what's in here? They got, of course, Heavyweights and Rookie of the Year uh, going on right there. I, ho I hope this one gets a Blu-ray one day. The Blank Check. That's kind of That's kind of badass. They have that in there today. They also have this uh, Star Wars trilogy set, five bucks. That's pretty much what this one goes for uh, on online, used and stuff. But uh, yeah, they have some cool stuff in here, but no, nah, I don't think I'm finding anything I need to, to grab in here today. Over at my next stop of the day, Best Buy, baby. And before I head on in there, I did find one thing at uh, Hope of the Valley before I walked out of there. I found one thing, which I'll show you guys at the end. Well guys, just got in here. Let's see what uh, came out today, if I see anything uh, that's new out here today. We got this new um, Steven Dorf film, where it looks like he's like a fighter? Or something, like an MMA fighter or something? Yeah, this one's, look at, this one's, I know I've never seen on the shelf before, uh, right here. But, one of the main ones that came out that I totally forgot about was uh, Explorers, man. Uh, on Blu-ray, old school Ethan Hawke flick, right here, uh, 22 uh, 99 with the slip cover and everything. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. I'm to put that off to the side. I think I'm most likely to get up on that. I didn't get a review copy or anything. We also got another set of uh, Ultraman, another Ultraman steelbook uh, put out by Mill Creek. And of course, like I, I unboxed this one a day or two ago, the uh, Tomb Raider, uh, the 4K collection of uh, the... Laura Croft ones with uh, Angelina Jolie came out today. That's uh, 28 bucks. That's a little high. That's a little high, but 
for two films. Again, it's not that bad. Uh, we also have a film called Boogie. Uh, no, not Boogie 2988 from YouTube, but Boogie. This is put out by Universal. Uh, I think I saw trailers to this. This one looked kind of decent. I still think I may be getting a review copy of this because I did get like an email about it a couple weeks ago or even longer. Not sure if I am or not, but if I don't, I will come back and probably pick this one up soon. And that uh, was the Space Parts. Uh, heavy Punk Rock Grindhouse Gore, it says on top right here. RLJE Films. If anyone's seen this one before, or if you guys get it this week, let me know in the comments if it's worth getting. It's only $13.99 right there. We got uh, Trigger Point. We also have uh, Smokey and the Bandit for the first time on 4K, which I think it came out a week or so ago, if I'm not mistaken. But that's pretty cool for the first time uh, in uh, Ultra HD, if you know what I'm saying. But when it comes to new releases, that's all I'm kind of noticing right now. And uh, this may have been a week or so ago as, as well, too. WrestleMania 2021. Was this, was this last week? Right? This is the one when Hulk Hogan comes out dressed as a pirate and shit. I'm like, oh, God. I, I saw pictures of that. I'm like, oh, no. And I think this one right here might have, might have came out today, too. Haunted? But that, that might have been a week or so ago, too. But another one from RLJ Entertainment. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to most likely probably grab this one. Oh, but before I leave, there's a new Benedict Cumberbatch film that uh, was released today, $21.99, but then they have the Backdraft 4K steelbook right there with the helmet and stuff. That is cool, man. I always remember liking this one when I first saw it on VHS back in the video store days, but uh, I haven't seen this movie in such a long time. I don't know if I need to upgrade it, though. I don't know if I need to upgrade it, but there's an uh, exclusive steelbook. Uh, or a limited edition still, but I don't know if it's exclusive to Best Buy. It doesn't say it doesn't have a sticker like that on there, but uh, these ones are also uh, available right now. Heading on over to the last stop of the day, the local Walmart. Let's head on in. Well, let's see what Walmart has in store for us today. They have that Steven Dorf one uh, up here for twelve ninety six. This is only a DVD one. They also have Boogie uh, right there, and uh, they have this one. I don't know if I saw this one before. They only had like one copy left. The Long Weekend. Is this something that came out this week? I'm not sure. Actually, I think it might, because it says a long weekend right here. But uh, this one looks like it could be kind of interesting uh, right here. I, I like some of the actors that are in this one. But let's see if this one's gonna stay. There we go. Is it gonna stay? There we go. <laughs> but that's one of them. One thing that's kind of like point, uh, like standing out to me right here, Animaniacs season one. Is this something? Is this something that came out this year? Like I just, uh, 2021. It says on the back. Animaniacs, the complete first season, dude. I mean, I don't really need it, but I remembered watching the hell out of this, uh, you know, when I was in like, a, is it called like junior high or high school and stuff? Animaniacs, I know, I've always loved that shit. And it looks like Walmart has a lot of those uh, straight to DVD kind of titles coming out today. Desert Strike with uh, Mike Tyson right here. Uh, Pixie, uh, another one with, um, and, you know, Alec Baldwin and stuff. And what else was there? Yeah, Midwife. This one, is, this looks like an RLJ Entertainment movie, is it? And, uh, no, it's Phase 4. A, f a horror, horror film looks like, uh, <laughs> right there. I kind of like the cover. It kind of reminds me of, like, you know, Blair Witch Project or something. And a movie called Blue Call. What is that, dude? I'm not trying to be injected by her, by any means. It's, it'll put up at Echo Bridge. Echo Bridge has been putting out a lot of stuff recently. And Walmart also has the 20th anniversary edition of Tomb Raider. Just a Blu-ray, standalone Blu-ray edition. Uh, of it over here and the movie The Vault uh, which I believe got a Blu-ray release as well but I got a review copy a, a DVD review copy which I'm going to talk about uh, at the end of this video in just a few moments this wasn't bad it wasn't great uh, but it, it wasn't it wasn't bad as of you know Freddie Highmore in there well not seeing anything I need to pick up over here at Walmart today so let's head on home for some DVD and Blu-ray reviews Hey everybody, I'm back home now from uh, hoarding up over here. I only picked up uh, two things today, uh, one of which was at the thrift store I went to, and that was the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. This is brand new, factory sealed, still has like the old school Best Buy sticker on there. Uh, I see sold listings on eBay between $10 to $17 uh, sold uh, on eBay, even though there's a Blu-ray of it out, multiple different Blu-ray editions of this out. This is the original MGM uh, DVD right here with Dennis Hopper on the cover. Of course, this is the classic um, one with, of course, Caroline Williams, one of the best horror scream queens out there, and just all around cool, cool person. Uh, I got that one to put on my eBay store, but I got this one right here for myself. 
Explorers, man. This is one came out today from a Shout Factory, from the from the Shout Select line. I'm probably, I probably could have uh, messaged them, maybe got a review copy, but I'm just like, you know what? I saw it out there in the stores and wanted to get it. Wanted to get it. Classic, classic film from uh, my childhood. This one came out back in 1985. Uh, I was think I was like three, when I, two or three when this movie came out. But uh, you know, young um, uh, Ethan Hawke up in here. Great movie slipcover. Hell yeah. Had to get up on that one. Uh, but also, before I get on to the movies uh, to, that I, I have to talk about for you guys that I got sent from some companies, um, got back home to a box. It's, kind, it's, it's, it's a bigger, it's a biggish box, but it's kind of light. And it's coming from this company called, um, I, I believe, MovieZing.com or Allied Vaughn. So that's, uh, let's see what they sent over here today. Let's see. It's really light, though. I don't know how, what, what you know... I know it's a movie of some sort, but it's just like, if there's all this, <laughs> this big, this, you know, this size box for one movie, it's kind of like insane. You get this thing open, it's all kind of like, you know. Alright. And we got a DVD right here of, um, A Smile Like Yours with Greg Kinnear and Lauren Holly. Uh, that's an, uh, I think it's one, this is the one of those films that came out back in the 90s. Hopefully it's in focus. Uh, yeah, a smile like yours in there. I'll be talking. I'll, I'll be watching that soon. But um, is that it? All that in this box for one DVD. Okay, <laughs> a smile like yours. Thank you, MovieZing.com, for sending this on over. Uh, can't wait to check it out though. Can't wait to check it out. It looks like it has um Joan Cusack in there as well. Hell yeah. But okay, on to the review portion. Uh, of this video right here, just some four. I got uh, two DVD, two DVDs, and two Blu-rays that I got sent from companies that I actually got to watch over the last couple days. Uh, one of which was amazing, and that is uh, Shoplifters of the World. Uh, this one should have came out in stores today. I don't think I saw it anywhere, unless I unless I missed it or something. A great movie, put out by RLJE uh, Entertainment or inter or Films or whatever. And uh, it stars a whole bunch of people that I, I don't really know. I know like Joe Magnolio or something. Like there's like, like so pretty much like relative, relatively, you know, unknown cast in here. I'm sure they've done some other stuff. Not that I can remember, you know, that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, but it's pretty much about this young girl uh, who, you know, goes into, goes into this local record store. And like she knows the guy, the, the little, the, the boy that, um, that works there, really likes her. So he lets her steal whatever she wants because she's really into records. It takes place, I think, like in the... I don't I'm not really particularly sure. Was it like the 90s or something like that? And uh, she's always going in there stealing stuff. And he just not say, he's not doing nothing or saying anything about it because he really likes her. And uh, she, she finds out at the beginning of this movie that her favorite group, her favorite band, the Smiths, uh, just broke up. And it's like, it's just like tearing, it just tore her apart. You know what I mean? It's like ruined her, ruined her day. And, uh, you know, so the guy that, that runs this uh, record store, this, little, this, this boy that works there or whatever, ends up, to, ends up going to the local radio station and holding the DJ up at gunpoint for the whole movie just so he can keep playing different Smith songs, uh, you know, throughout, throughout the night and stuff. Uh, I don't know, I, I really found this movie to be really entertaining. Uh, it kind of gave me that vibe of like the movie, like movie Pump Up the Volume. Little, little bit of Days of Confused in there kind of vibe to it. Co you know, coming of age kind of flick. Great stuff, man. And, man, they have, they have over, it says over 20 songs that they use up from the Smiths that, this, great music, man. Great music if you've never uh, listened to the Smiths before. This will probably get you into their music uh, right here. But if it sounds interesting to you, I recommend checking it out. It comes with a, uh, you know, it comes with a cool looking little slip cover, uh, you know, that, that comes with this release right here. Great acting by the cast. You know, it's, it's, it's a real simple story. You know what I mean? Like, it all takes place during, like, one day and everything. But um, I enjoyed this. I really, really did. And I think I have a, 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 a new movie star crush uh, right now. The, the, main, the main girl, I believe her name is uh, Helena Howard. I believe was her name, the, the main the main girl of this movie. Oh my god. She's amazing. she's she's beautiful, dude. And uh the next up over here I got from Warner Brothers is uh a movie that came out a couple weeks ago called Tom and Jerry, the movie. Uh this is of course based on a cartoon that uh, I remember watching as a kid and uh always always, you know, kind of enjoyed that stuff, you know, cat and mouse, you know, kind of thing. But this movie right here stars Chloe Grace Moretz, Michael Pena, and uh Ken Jong. And uh it's pretty much about Tom and Jerry who um who pretty much run up, run up into this hotel, 
the little mouse wants to set up shop and, you know, live in this hotel. And because he doesn't really have any money to do anything. And the cat's just trying to get him out of that hotel. And uh, Chloe Grace Moretz uh, gets, his, gets his job at this hotel. And and it's pretty much the whole, you know, the hotel owner is like, there's like this, you know, this the hotel the person that runs the hotel is like having this really big, you know, uh, celebrity guest, you know, going to be a staying there. You know, like a real high powered person, in, you know, in life. And uh, they have to, everything has to be up, uh, you know, up to the highest standards. But yet, there's a mouse in the mouse on the loose, uh, you know, in this hotel. So it was pretty much Chloe Grace Moretz hiring, uh, what was it called Tom the cat, and uh, trying to get the mouse out of the hotel. You know, it's 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 it is what it is. Um, I found I found it to be kind of funny and kind of you know just like you know fun popcorn, you know, kind of movie. Nothing nothing to write home about, but it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Uh, next up over here from Paramount Home Entertainment is a movie that came out today that I only I only got a DVD of uh, to review, which is fine. Uh, it's a movie starring Freddie Highmore. It's called The Vault, and it, uh, it's pretty much about Freddie Highmore's character, who is like a really smart kid, and all these different colleges are coming to him saying, "Hey, we really want you to come to our college, and this is why." And like uh, you know, he has to pick of which one he's going to go to because like he's like one of like the top top picks for all these colleges to get and everything. Until uh, he gets a proposition from this uh, uh, this one explorer slash um, thief, I guess, uh, that, you know, gives him an offer that he can't refuse about trying to break into this bank. And I, I forgot, forgot exactly where now, S somewhere in Spain, and, uh, you know, to, to steal something out of this out of this bank vault. And it's just pretty much them trying to, you know, uh, plan the heist and figure out how they're going to do it. And I found this to be really a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's also a movie I don't see myself watching over again. Like I like I like watching the you know the oceans movies and stuff. But um, it, it does have some decent performances in here. If you like heist movies, movies about money and stuff with a little bit of twists, twists and turns in it, the vault is actually pretty decent. The vault was pretty pretty decent right here. But uh, thank you Paramount for sending this one on over. Uh, like I said, it was okay. It was okay. It was entertaining for a one-time watch flick. And last but not least, right here is a movie from Lionsgate. And this one stars Michael Jai White and uh, Denise Richards. And that is uh, Send It uh, here on, uh, on DVD. And I don't know if there's, a, I don't think there's a Blu-ray release of this film. Uh, but it's pretty much about this young boy uh, named Billy, I believe his name is in the film, who's a, a kite boarder who, you know, who, um, you know, like, likes to surf on the waves. But, like, he, he's, like, holding onto a kite and people are taking him and he's, like, doing tricks and stuff. And he wants to become a professional, and uh, he lives in this small, this small little community, you know, beach community. And this little beach community um, all pitches in this, you know, uh, pretty much send him to go to like, you know, the the championships, you know, across the country and stuff. Like Michael Jai White and his team, you know, you know, scrounge up some money for him to go. And uh, as he's going there, he comes across this one girl hitchhiking on the street, or kind of. And it's just pretty much them forming a relationship and how. This young girl that he meets makes him better as a person and as a, a performer when it comes to doing what he does. Uh, I enjoy this one. I always like movies that have to do with like surfing and waves and stuff like the, in the summer and uh, you know step into liquid. But you know this is actual feature film. This is not just you know people riding waves and stuff. But uh, it was cool. It, it it is cool. It's a decent a decent one time watch. Uh, you know kind of flick right here. But if you like surfing movies, you know hey dude hang ten bro. Check this one out. It's all right. But that's, that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today uh, for this hoarding up video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And please remember to check out the link uh, down below uh, to the GoFundMe uh, for my friends uh, Natanya Ross and uh, Sean Wise and my buddy Aaron Schwartz are doing to help money, to help raise money uh, for the local uh, Hope of the Valley Mission in Van Nuys to build these little homes. So, you know, they're like, they're like miniature homes that uh, homeless people uh, c can go into and have some shelter and maybe re re rebuild their lives. Uh, you may have seen, you may have heard and seen some of this stuff in some, in some new, in, in the news and stuff like that. It's just kind of cool that some of my friends are, you know, um, coming together to try to help raise money to help others, you know? So if you guys would like to donate a dollar, five bucks, what have you, uh, check out the donation link uh, to the GoFundMe in the top of the description box. Uh, It'll, it, it, will, it will help. It will help someone. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll catch all you knuckleheads in the next video.